All right, you assholes. Ever since we started doing these videos, everybody's been asking me the same thing over and over again. Why don't you do anything from Samuel Adams? You know, Samuel Adams is really good. You ought to do a video on that. When are you guys going to finally get around to doing Samuel Adams? Well, get ready, motherfuckers, because your wish is about to be granted tonight here, number 70 in Arizona. We got Samuel Adams six different kinds. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. There's only three there. Oh, that's right. We got to let them cool while we do these three. Well, there went my opening. Go ahead. Your opening? All right. So, as he said, we are actually in Phoenix, Arizona for the 70th episode special of the Brew Review. And, of course, with Sammy Adams, we got Ruby Mild, Boston Lager, and Harvest Pumpkin Ale as our first three. Yes, and since we don't have a table that's nice enough for us to use, well, that one's over there, but we don't have two chairs, so we like to invite all of you fans into bed with us. Um, I'm just kidding. I don't want to sleep with half of you people. But. Yes, we are finally doing Samuel Adams. What if the viewer audience is all guys? I just said I don't... I'm wearing my Cooper, my new Cooperstown T-shirt. Yes, we just yes. came from that restaurant. Well, highly recommend it. Their ribs are the bomb. Yeah. Sons of Alice, Cooperstown. Yes, awesome. Great stuff there. Go if you get into Phoenix, go see it. It's like three minutes away from us. So on to the 70th episode special. We are gonna do all the usual: the body head test, the cap test, the draft test, the drink test, all that good stuff. Yeah, uh, Samuel Adams is a pretty. Big box name, from what I understand. But they're kind of like a craft brew, too, they're like if you will. I guess Boston is where they're from. We didn't do history on this. We yeah, I believe it is Boston. Yeah, they're, they're probably, Massachusetts. We probably should have done this before. Let you can see. tell we're not really on the cuff here. Let me see if I can pull something up. And while he's doing that, I'm going to show you the three that are coming up after this. That are in this variety pack. We got also the Oktoberfest, the Hazel Brown, and the Latitude 48 a IPA. So those are gonna those will come up after these three are done. Ironically, that Samuel Adams, when you typed it into the Google search, it had the beer company come up first and not the president. Amazingly enough, its uh, stock prices right now are at two hundred and thirty eight dollars and thirty eight cents a share. If that helps, but uh, <laughs> American's leading brewer of handcrafted full flavored beers. Ew. Interesting. Isn't that nice? Uh, founded 1985 in Boston, Mass. So, so they've I been around five, a little while. I was five years old when this beer came out. I yeah, but yeah, know. but we weren't old enough to drink it yet. So, which one should we do first? Well, hmm. actually, I think we should just start right off. We with need the to start with like the traditional stuff. Yeah, the lager. I think this is the most well known one. I yeah, we actually got this at a Safeway here in Phoenix. So shout out to them. You're drinking the first beer I made. The recipe came from my father's attic in 1984. Did he have a still up there? I wonder. It didn't knew. It tasted the same then as it does now. Flavorful, turn cap over. Full bodied and balanced. It was a revelation in taste. And it started a revolution in craft brewing that continues today. Cheers. Oh yeah. Alright, so... The cap I'm gonna, test. I'm open it. I love the cap. But... Uh oh. I'll be goddamned. Wow. It's a twist. Well, it's turning, but it's not coming off. <laughs> it is. Wait a minute. So, do we still have to pop it? We're probably going to have to pop it. I, I hate it. to. Yeah, yeah it did. It hissed. hissed. I thought you had it. I thought you had it. So. But since you did the cap test on this one, I'll do the next one. We'll just do every other yeah, here. Yeah, what the hell, man? I'm trying to see. I don't know why I'm saying the cap, but... Out of habit. Oh, oh, oh. Got something on Number 63, Boston Gold, 2004. International Award winner. Oh, yeah. So, Samuel Adams is on the bottom. Let's sniff this bitch. Hmm. Has a interesting smell to it. Okay, let's hand off and I don't I'll think smell it, it. I don't think it smells like a lager though. There is some hops in there. There is a slight bit of fruit of grape, but not overbearing. No, I didn't. But it's there. I didn't smell the fruit of grape, but I think it's there. I, it smells hoppy. 
But it's not a bad smell. No. Okay, so we will now hand off. I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do this because when we went to Tournament of Kings in Vegas, we did something really cool, and we probably won't do it here. But oh well. You say huzzah, and then you guys say huzzah, and I say huzzah, and you guys say huzzah, and I say drink, and we drink, and we go ah like that. So. Say it with me, folks. Huzzah! 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 Drink! Ah! Yeah! So. Well. It's hoppy. It tastes kind of like, it's lagerish. Let me try again. With his finger up. Definitely dries your mouth out, but it's not bad. All right. Rich, balanced, and complex. Hmm. All right. That so we'll off. It tastes. It really tastes dark, like a lagerish. Okay, so Samuel Adams, Boston Lager. Let's try it. And get used to that, people. He's gonna be saying that for all six of these. <clears throat> okay, we'll go for the flavor burst. That was the beef sandwich I just had. It's okay. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It does. It really does have a bit of a hoppy taste to it. It's very hoppy. But you know, if offered to me or on a restaurant menu, yeah, I'd do it. Right. So let's see how dark it is. So we'll go body and head on this. Samuel Adams in a Yingling glass. I'm sure we got shot for that in some of the places we could do it. In, so wait, wait, I gotta get the eagle over here so we can actually see the robust. The flavor. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, mm, uh, lordy. Mm -mm. And there's a ton of head coming out of that. It, Even out of the bottle, there's head. It's a bit warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's It's a bit warm. Oh, anyway, well. Let's see how it is. It's got some uh, carbonation to it. Uh, it's still about an inch. It's lagerish. It, it, really, it does look almost yingling. Very lagerish. It's a little, little bit lighter, I think, color-wise. Drat, how are we going to get that carbonation out? I just don't know. Well, you wait. drink it. There we go. I'm going to do it that way. Now there's barely anything in there. I can... Hi! I can see you! <laughs> that, that, just drink the damn thing! I have to go through my tradition. Swirl. Let's see. No, remember, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to be doing this six times. Mm -hmm. Huzzah! Huzzah! Drink! I like a better draft. All right, let me see. When the I weast, think. when the weast and the hops mix, that's the best. That's the best way. Okay, draft test. I apologize. That's way too much head in there. You you didn't get even much of that. But we have another one in there. You can drink it later. I agree with you. It, it is definitely a better draft. Mm -hmm. Now, since we have six of these, we might as well just give our rating now for this. Um, I'm gonna go. For the lo for the Boston Lager, I think if it, if it was cold, I'd probably give it a higher score. So I'm not gonna really judge it on that just because it's warm. I give it a four. Me, yeah, three and a half. Definitely doable. Definitely a six pack worthy. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a four because again, I can't really base it on the fact that it's warm because we didn't waste time letting it chill. All right, so uh, let's move on to the Ruby Mild. Ruby Mild. And, I'm honestly not sure about it. I mean, it's got the date thing across the bottle, and you can see it's got the traditional Sam Adams cap and stuff, and the Boston Beer Company. I'm not for sure what kind of beer this is. Or Well, it does kind of say on the box what they kind of are. Uh, hold on a second. Let me get, let me get the box. All right, let me take the camera. But you can see traditional cap. Ruby Mile. Yeah, see, we even do box shots now here at the Brew Review. <laughs> Ruby Mild. This mild ale is a smooth, sweet, malty brew with a hint of ruby color and delicate hop note. Ooh, 5.6 content, so it's it's, it's pretty strong. it's pretty strong. So, yeah. all right, so I'm gonna do the open of the cap on this one yes. since you did the last one, and we're gonna have to pop it. I wonder why that one turned. Maybe it was when you almost crashed and killed us. 
Hey, you handed me the... It was your fault. You handed me the keys. Well, you were drinking. No, I wasn't. I'm just trying to get you in trouble. Alright, so I'm going to smell it. I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> it kind of has... It has a slight fruit of grape, but... It's not well, strong. Like it says, All right, so it's a mild ale, so... Damn. Uh, Alright, so it's ready. I need a haircut. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely more grapey than the other one. It's not a strong grapey, though. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mild ale rose to popularity <coughs> in the 1800s as the refreshing brew choice to... Oh, after Burp on the Boston Lager wasn't bad, by the way. Oh, railway laborers drank this. Oh, really? This... Modern, mild, a smooth, sweet, malty, blah, 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 brew with a hint of ruby. It's a satisfying choice for the end of a long day. Cheers. Okay, so let's hand off. All right. Okay. Samuel Adams, Ruby Mild. Let's try it. Huzzah! Okay, we'll go for the second one. No, he doesn't even wait. He's just like, all right, round two. I give that a thumbs up. Really? So far, I like it. Do you like it better than the lager? Seriously, yep. Hmm. So far. So it, it. So far, that one's in the lead as far as the Sam Adams lineup goes hmm. tonight. So, uh, Ruby Mild. Huzzah! Huzzah! Drink! <sighs> I do have to agree. It tastes darker. It almost tastes like a darker beer. It doesn't even taste like an ale at all. And also, the aftertaste on it, it, it doesn't leave an aftertaste like the lager did, mm -hmm. I don't think. The lager kind of did leave a little bit of an after, aftertaste to it. Yeah, this tastes more darker. But I mean, if it, it tastes darker but not stronger, if that makes any no, sense no, to you. No, it doesn't taste stronger at all, but it, I wouldn't call this an ale. I'm going to go on the fence here. I would call this maybe almost a weaker stout or porter, maybe. Or yeah, I, I... Or coffee. I, I could see that. I mean, other than the coffee, I could see that. It, it just tastes dark. I mean, I mean, maybe not as strong as a stout or porter. That might be going a little wrong. I know that there's like 8,000 people out there just like, No, it's not a stout or a lager. The fuck? All right, so he tilts the glass... <laughs> Oh, yes. We're going to mix the lager and the ruby mild. People are going to think we're completely gay. There we go. Drippy, drip, drip. Mm. So it's it, about the same color. It is, yeah. I mean, to look at, not as much carbonation, though. No. It's but it is very close to what the lager is, color-wise. Wow, you look drunk. Which finger am I holding up? That's very inappropriate. Well, at least it wasn't seen on here unless... Well, now it's seen. So, he, he does Stay the three S's. Me, kids. Sniff? Smells actually pretty good. Huzzah! Drink! <sighs> this might be a running thing with Samuel Ads. They taste way better draft. All right, so we'll switch. They off do here taste again. way better. Still tastes dark. And he just guzzles it down. It kicks ass in the draft. Yes, it does. I I like this. I honestly, I think I like. So it. So far, Ruby is in the lead. I like it better than the the logger myself, and that's weird because I'm not a. a Again, I might be acquiring a taste for darker beers, but it's actually really But that good. really wasn't that dark, though, to be honest. I mean, it wasn't like... It's, it's all yeah, dark, I mean, it tasted dark. Now, we move on so, to well, the Harvest Pumpkin Ale. If we have to now, rate, we got to rate this. Yeah. Again, well, I gave that four. I'll just... I'll say four out of five for that. My opinion? I'm going to notch it up. I'm going to say four and a half on that one. Four and a half. Four and a half, in my opinion. I liked it. Hmm. Recommend it case-worthy. All right, then. Definitely better than the draft, too, by the way. 
way better. But uh, maybe this is a running thing with Sam Adams. We'll find out if this is better in the draft. Yes, we got Harvest Pumpkin Ale next. Yeah, which is, I'm guessing that's a seasonal for October. Yeah, we get, this is like... Well, and, yeah, you can see it's got the, uh... It's got the same cap as the last one. It's got the date thing along this the packaging. and. Oh, Afterburp was good on the last one. Government warning, of course, because 5.7 content on this. Uh, this so ale, a little, it's a tad stronger than the last. This ale is brewed with real pumpkin and seasonal spice, including cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. Ooh, it's a pumpkin. So. It's almost a pumpkin. We move on so. to the cap test. Now, see, I can turn it. What the hell? But you can't take it off. But I can't take it off. That's what she said. I've been hanging around this guy for too long. I know. It rubs off, right? You know how many times I've heard that's what she said this trip? Probably about a thousand. I can't. I've lost count. Just well, I haven't said it yet in the episode. You, you're you the first one who said it in the episode, so. He's about to do the smell. Oh, this won the Helsinki gold for 2003. That That's Ruby Red. That was Ruby Mild right there. Yeah, that was. That said the same thing. What they win? They won gold in Melbourne. So, I, I guess every cap is their award. So. They, they're kind of bragging about their stuff, so. Ooh. What? Wow. St okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. I smell cinnamon. No, you don't. Are you serious? All right. Take a whiff. I smell cinnamon. So, I'm going to do a smell test. Tell me that is not cinnamon. I'll be a son of a bitch. Yeah, it, yeah. It, there is a hint of it there. It's not strong. But no, it, you don't. It's not. It like, has a slight hint. It's not like a candle or anything. But I smell cinnamon. This might actually be pretty good. We'll find out, won't we? Okay, so. Modern at four different kinds of malt. Seventeen pounds of real pumpkin. Wow. Seventeen pounds of real pumpkin per barrel for rich. I don't think even pumpkin did that. I don't even think they used real pumpkin. <laughs> Imitation pumpkin? I guess they make such a thing. I don't know. Some of you cooks out there could help me on that. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ah, harvest pumpkin. Um, let's see if it tastes like cinnamon. So he tries it. Son of a bitch. What? This is really good. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Are you cereal? <laughs> I'm super cereal. This is really good. And it leaves a cinnamon taste in your mouth. I'm not fucking with you right now. Wow, I gotta try this shit. I'm not bullshitting you, man. Alright, let's uh, hand off here. and Right now, that's my front runner. Samuel Adams, Harvest Pumpkin Ale. Let's try it. Okay, flavor burst. Flavor burst that. Holy hell. Yeah. You ain't fucking kidding me. That is pro. That's the. Wow. <laughs> that is some good shit right there. Goes down smooth, too. It mm -hmm. leaves a good aftertaste. And you taste a hint of cinnamon. But I don't know. I so far it almost ties with the ruby in my book. Oh no, this blows that away. In my, this is my personal opinion. But uh, yeah, we have different I'll opinions. That, I'll get to that in a minute. Let's see what this thing looks like. Oh yeah. Ah! Do they make them all the same color? Well, this one it looks like a little darker. Oh, okay, yeah, you, that's true. It does about look an inch ahead. Does like a schmidge darker. Yes, it does. And not now, as much that, carbonation to that it either. That looks like Yingling dark almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And very, like you said, very little carbonation. Well, if it tastes that good in the bottle, it should taste awesome in the draft. After we... Do the three S's. Shit, shower, and shave? Shit, shower, and shave. No, I'm sorry, I just put Hopefully that... Hopefully in not that order. Don't do the shit at the end. Do it either before or in the middle. Not the end. Because that defeats the whole purpose of a shower. That is your public service announcement. Huzzah! Thank you for sharing that. Well... I'm a 
I'll say five. All right, let's handle. I it. already, I already gave my review for it. Five. That is the shizness. I'm sure you didn't want to make it a six. No, I'm not. All right. I'm not like you and Matt. I actually stay in the rules of the uh, the rating. Uh. Oh, good after Bert. Mm -hmm. It is better out of the draft. I'll give it that. Mm -hmm. My rating, to me, it's actually tied with the Ruby. Four and a half. So I'm going to say four and a half in my opinion on that one. I'm going to go solid five. Case worthy? That shit was awesome. I agree. I say case case worthy and too. And you know so. what the sad part is? It's probably a seasonal, which means I'll never see it again. Not, not until, until next year, anyway. Not until next year, but wow. But anyway, yeah. So what do we say? I said what? Three and a half, four and a half, four and a half. Four and a half. I said four, four. Or no, I said four and a half. On that one. Yeah, I went four, four and a half, five. All for right. This, for this first round. So, let's move on to the second half of the episode. Yay! So, I'm going to set the camera here while I get the next beers. Yay! Are they cold? They're colder. Okay, I guess that helps. So, what do we have? Oh, can't spill that. Hey. I about knocked the Oktoberfest over. That wouldn't have been good. Hey, I'm not having a, ba a good night today. So. so, let's see. We got Oktoberfest, the Hazel Brown, and the Latitude... With the Hopology Collection Latitude Forty Eight IPA, um, hmm. and wow, they're they're pretty strong. I mean, I don't know which one you want to do first. Well, let's see. Uh, the <laughs> Good after burp on the cinnamon, by the way. Since we're already on the pumpkin side, I think might as well do October fast. Yeah, and I, uh, yeah, I admit I actually had this while on the trip. Mm -hmm. But I, I will do the the capper. It's a shame we didn't do this with uh, the other October. You can fest see it's five point three percent. You know, got the same deal going on with the packaging, pretty uh, much. And all same warning. Pretty and, much the same. Yeah. Orange cap, though. Nice. You know, as breaking tradition. Yeah, the, the other ones had blue. Yeah, and then, so, I'm going to try and open it. Okay. Ah, I can turn it. But you can't. But I can't take it off, so. There you go. Sam Adams must be, like, in between when it comes to this stuff. He so. likes to screw with the drunk people. They're like, dude, I can turn it. And then they, they spent all night trying to turn the, the cap. Okay, so let's uh, smell it. It kind of reminds me of Shiner and Yingling's Oktoberfests. Really? Yeah, we, like we spicy, did. The, yeah, we kind of did the uh, the uh, battle of the brews there a few episodes ago on that. Like a spicy brown. Thing. Yeah, and we did the shiner episode, the second shiner episode. We kind of mm -hmm. did that episode sixty, I believe it was. Yeah. Oh, and the cap. London. London Gold, nineteen ninety-five. Yeah, it definitely has a bit of a spice. Not as spicy as the pumpkin ale, but it's an Oktoberfest. All right, so. We move on to the you drink. You realize we're going to be so loaded after this? I know. Samuel Adams, Oktoberfest. Let's try it. Seasonal brew. We maybe should have broken these up, but oh well. Fuck it. We need to do something special. We're, we're not driving, so it's all good. That's a flavor burst. Flavor burst that. This is a lager, by the way. An Oktoberfest lager? Yeah, that's what it says. It says up here, lager. Oh. So, it's actually pretty good. I like it. Mm. Now, this is my first time trying it. You really? Cheated. I tried you it a cheated. couple times. You cheated, and I have not tried this yet. So, I have to read it. Oh, 1810. This started up. Especially. Uh, Classic Oktoberfest lager, five roasted moths for a rich, hearty flavor. Huzzah! 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 Drink! Drink! <sighs> Sorry, we just came from Vegas. We're getting everybody to do that now. But, yeah, uh... Again, not having the Shiner or the or the Yingling to kind of compare it to, it tastes about the same, if my memory serves me correctly. I've drank so much on this trip, I seem to have forgotten a lot. 
That happens when you drink enough. Uh-huh. Know what I'm saying? Walk his ass up and don't hurt him. I love him. Sorry, I was watching Cops earlier. So we gotta move these two out of the way. But it's, yeah, it's good. It's an Oktoberfest. Uh, I, I find that Oktoberfest is kind of are similar, not the same. But they're all good. I don't know which is really better, in my opinion. No, unless we had all three of them together. We'd hard. have to do a three-way deal there. Yeah, so... So... It's just a glass. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Oh, A lot Lord. of damn head on that thing. Load it, load it. Look at the head on that. It's still spewing, too. Mm -mm. That is some heady beer. Sound test. Sounds like Rice Krispies. Lager so, color. Crackle, pop getting <laughs> hammer. Yeah. Lager it's color. almost the same color as the Harvest Pumpkin. Yeah, every single one of these so far has had a darker log color, which. But they're pretty close to each other. Yeah, I mean, there's no. Real I, I'd say this and that one was pretty the dark. Pumpkin? They were they were about the same. Yeah, Maybe no it's doubt. the pumpkin color coming out of that. No doubt. So. So he does his three S's. I'm swirling the Oktoberfest. Sniff it. I smell it. Ooh, ooh, strong in the. Strong. So it says. I guess it smells a lot more better in the glass. As Matt always says. Well, I'd say we got a new record on the brew review. As far as episode length. We just passed it. This is going to be up there with my WTF reviews. but I think it tastes stronger in a glass. but Alright, so let's hand it. And so we'll do the draft. Draft it. It does have a strong smell in the glass. You're mm -hmm. right. Yeah, you got to draft that one. Yeah, I think I, I think the trend we're seeing here is all Sam Adams stuff has to be drafted. If you want the full taste of the Oktoberfest, you definitely want to draft it. So my personal opinion, I'm gonna say four and a half. Definitely a case worthy beer. I have to agree with you on that. Uh, I liked it, but again, I kind of compare it to the one that I think was five. But I, I think so far I got a three way tie here going. Yeah, you're. Really, the only one you gave a lower score to was the lager. Yeah, and it, and and the reason for that is because of the bad aftertaste. Like right. it had a, had a little bit of a bad aftertaste, but then it didn't last long. Yeah, mine kind of gradually went up, and now we're kind of teetering down. But it's it's good. But so far, these three are tied for me. So mm -hmm. so now. Anyway, let's move on to another one. Which we let's do Hazel Brown. Hazel Brown. So since I did the honors on the last one, you can do the honors on oh, this. Oh jeez, what the hell is that? <coughs> natural flavors added. Pumpkins. That helps me not a one. This flavorful dark brown ale has a distinct hazelnut aroma. Ooh, hazelnut. Slightly sweet caramel and toffee malt notes accentuate the pleasant roasted hazelnut character. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This medium bodied brew finishes smooth with an underlying spiciness from the hops. Cheers. Alrighty. I don't know why I'm bothering doing this. Just give me the damn. I think for the last one, we're not even going to bother doing the cap test. Well, no, actually, no. I'm going to I'm going to be doing that. Better not. Here. You better not, because Batch 19 screwed with my head that one time. That was funny. That was not funny. Yes, at all. it was. It proved that I was. I was laughing my fucking balls off. That's for sure. Brussels gold, 1999. Nice. Okay, so we obviously know they're all poppers. Yeah. Ooh! Oh. Do I even want to know? This smells dark. It looks dark. But it does smell like hazelnut. Oh, does it? Have you ever smelled hazelnut? Uh, not really. Neither have it's I. Like a co it's like a... I thought that was more of like a coffee <laughs> flavor. <laughs> that was kind of... Okay, that was kind of dumb. Have I... Have you ever... Like, it smells like hazelnut. Have you ever smelled hazelnut? Neither have I. Yeah. It, it does smell like kind of a coffee. Okay, so we'll give it a smell. Damn, I, I gotta tell you what, it really smells strong. Yeah, it smells coffee-ish. And you you can kind of see, you know. It's okay, so I was on the subject about malt. Sorry mm -hmm. about that, people. That's all right, but we're gonna try this anyway because we're do we're losing battery power here, people. We're trying to entertain you, and we just can't do it in one shot. So that's what she said. 
Let's try hazel brown. Ale with natural flavors added. You know, let me tell you a story about the old country. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're going to kill our battery power here, man. Wow. Good wow? Bad wow? What? It's just a wow. It does leave a hazel nut. Do you, have you ever you drink co have you ever drank coffee before? I'm just not a coffee person. I'm sorry. But have you at least tried it? Maybe regular coffee, but okay. that's about it. This I've tried hazelnut coffee before. It leaves that kind of taste in your mouth. Bad is that bad or good? <sighs> it's a coffee taste. That's really all I can say. You'll have to well when you get the. But yeah. This is definitely darker, but it's not bad. It's not a bad dark. All right, so I'm act I it. actually dig it. All right, Sam Adams, Hazel Brown, let's try it. Okay, time to flavor burst it. Flavor burst it. Flavor burst that nut. <laughs> Damn. What do you think? That's a strong taste right there. It's strong, but not overly strong. No, no. I mean, I could drink a couple of them, mm -hmm. but it's not overly... But that's really what hazelnut coffee tastes like. Yeah, for those of you who like hazelnut coffee, it should be good, but... Yeah, I mean... Out of the it, it does leave an aftertaste, though. I will give it that. Out of the coffee that. beers that we've had, like Java Head and everything, they suck. This is... Coffee beer, but not an overpowering. Okay, so far my downfall with this beer has to be aftertaste. But coffee does, beers are usually known for that. Yeah, it does leave a bit of a weird aftertaste. So we're going to pour. Oh, yes. oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That is too much head on that one. Uh -uh. This is not Guinness. Very strong. Very strong after burp. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pour that just a wee bit. But. It's darker. It, I think it's darker than the other ones. It is just a smidge. Just a It's smidge. definitely the darker of the six that we've had so far. Yeah. I mean, a smidge above Oktoberfest and Pumpkin. It's it's not quite like Java Head or Peg Leg Dark or anything like no, that. No, that, that's like 30 weight motor oil. So. With all that head. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not a regular coffee drinker, but yeah. It, but it, what's what's funny about it is that I mean, it tastes kind of like coffee, but it's not really dark like coffee. That's what's no, really odd about all. it. But okay, I'll draft it. And, and of course, it's better in draft, in my personal opinion. <clears throat> okay, yeah, the draft kind of makes it redeem itself a little bit. Mm -hmm. I like totally it. Totally redeem it. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay, okay. I was going to say three and a half on it. But since it made it, made up for it in the draft, I'm just going to say four. I'll go four to, four, four, four and a half. Four and a half. Thank you. I've drank like how many beers? I drank two and a half beers within that last like half hour, so I'm getting a little loopy here. So yeah, four and a half for this one. Uh, surprisingly enough, I really liked it. Yeah, I mean, my first initial impression of it, I thought, oh shit, it's gonna suck, you know. You don't get, I don't, I didn't get the aftertaste in draft form. No, neither did I. I got more aftertaste out of the bottle. You're, you're right about that. Yeah, Jason. so if you want no aftertaste, draft it. Absolutely. So yeah, I'm gonna say four on that one. Yeah. My personal opinion. Okay, so. So we got one more. Yeah. So in very last segment of this program tonight, <laughs> we got Samuel Adams. Hopology Collection, Latitude 48 IPA. This is their IPA. 6.0%. It's pretty Ooh, strong. The strongest so, of the batch. I will do the cap test. Oh, you know what? I forgot. We said that we weren't going to do this, but too late. <laughs> but that's what happens when you drink two and a half beers within like a half hour. Yeah. So, fuck you. What? What? 
hold on, they won a, an award, of course. Golden Denver. Smells like my yard. There's grass in there. <laughs> I mean, but it's not overbearing. It's there's definitely grass in it. All right, so <laughs> there's grass in it. Oh, jeez. Five varieties of hops, including mosaic hops from the Pacific Northwest. Oh, citrus. That's never good. That is never fruit good. of grape. No, I didn't even smell that in it though. I just smelled like the the grassiness. I smell the fruit of grape. Do you? Do you? Do you? When you say grass, the same I deal. Yeah. I immediately think grape. All right, fruit. so we'll trade. So this might be the drier of the of the batch. For the last time tonight, Samuel Adams Latitude Forty Eight IPA. Let's try it. And thank you for everybody that has sat through us <laughs> through all this. You guys are the true hardcores. Uh, next one. Uh-oh. I think I drank Hellraiser. Oh, no! Really? Oh, you want to talk aftertaste. Really? Out of the entire batch, we had to, we had to end with it. Well, I guess that's better. I mean, let's try it. Yeah. It's Hellraiser. Very dry. I mean, my mouth is a lot. Oh, it's dry. Oh. Hellraiser, Nugget Vector. I feel like I have to mow my tongue. Mow your tongue. <laughs> That's a good one. So he goes for the flavor burst. Oh, man. You want to talk about an aftertaste that hangs around like a fart. Oh, Lord. I guess... Five out of six isn't bad. Yeah, we had five good ones there. We had five really good ones. I'm going to have to drink a Pepsi later. <laughs> you have to drink one now to wash it down. I, I guess it is this. I guess. Huh? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I thought that. Is it this? Oh, yes. <laughs> I hit pop. My God, damn! You are right. Well, the other ones didn't leave that bad of a taste. I'm kind of wishing we'd have done this one first, so we could wash it all down with the other five. And I'll be goddamned, it all looks the same. <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, Dude. you would you would think they repackage the shit unless you actually taste it, like we're doing on this show. It smells worse than a draft. GMC dreads this. He's like, "What am I gonna fucking do here? What am I getting hey, into?" Hey, hey. It can't be as bad as Clamato and Budweiser. Chlamydia? I keep saying that. No matter what, it can never be that bad. I disagree. I could actually stand the Clamato and Budweiser. No! <clears throat> oh! That fucking after burp. <sighs> so, we hand off. No! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna draft it, unfortunately. Yeah. I fucking dread doing this. Just, just finish it, dude. Wow. Oh, god damn. And his hat goes off. <laughs> Actually, that's mine, but. Whew. Not good. No, uh. Okay. We have to go critic here. Just, just straight critic. If you like your dry. IPA ales. By all means, you will enjoy this. If you like your Hellraiser, your Nugget Nectar, your Dryer ales. By all means, yes. That is your go-to. Now, our personal opinion, you can suck it. <laughs> you so, suck I'm, I'm going to, I'm just going to say maybe two. Yeah. To, to be... Yeah. Ugh. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> one and a half! <laughs> I'm going to say two on that one. Lowest well, rating I, of the Sam Adams line. I had you at two. But until I burped, <laughs> one and a half. Wow, that was funny. 
I need a beer. Or not a beer, but I don't need any more beer tonight. I need a soda. But as far as Sam Adams as a whole within this variety pack, what did I say? Three and a half, four and a half, four and a half, four and a half, four, two and a half. I'm going to say four on the whole damn pack. What was I? Four, four and a half, five, four and a half, four and a half, I believe. I don't know. We drank too much. I don't four know. Four or four and a half. At least a four. One and a half. So, yeah, my average four. So, Samuel Adams Harvest Collection Variety Pack on the Brew Review. Both of us give it four. A so, we recommend, we recommend it. I don't recommend this by the case. If you like your drier stuff, I mean, by all means. Oh, look. Bonus tonight. Pepsi. He does the open of the can test. Can opens good. He drinks it. He sniffs it. I sniff it. Pepsi. Let's try it. <laughs> by the way, that came from Safeway, too. I prefer Diet Pepsi myself, but it's okay. It gets a five. Flavor burst. But yeah, seriously, Sam Adams, I mean, all in all, they're a good beer. Yes, uh, definitely a four. So th this was your big 70s show, people. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, we I'm have, sorry it ran so long if you're still watching. We have killed our livers so much for you people. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, stay tuned for whatever looks in episode 71. and We, have, we still have to do Mike's. The, the Mike's Hard Lemonade. we got at least three more in the works, so... Four more, actually. Yeah, we have to do that. Uh, They're all at home. The big one, we have to do some... Guinness is one of our ones we were going to try and find. Uh, they have, like, Beck's Dark out there we want to try and do. Lots more IPAs and... The, the Maple Bacon one's coming. I'll, I will find that. Made by Rogue. And we'll, do well that. we had bad luck with Rogue on the first two, so yeah. we'll just see. We'll do that one. Um... More uh, micro brews. Hey, we'll keep going. Until yeah, and if, if you if you have one that we you want us to try, well, hit us up, Let request us it. We'll try and get it for you. Yeah, because uh, and we do beer trades by the way too. Yeah, we'll keep doing them if they keep making them. All right, so uh, yeah, that was the 70th episode edition of the Brew Review here on 96 on the Whip, featuring GMC and me and Sam Adams, our and, special guest. And squishy frog shit on the toilet. All right, we'll see ya.